All right, this video will be the second video I'll continue on hypothesis. I figured that before I dive into any other uh, set theory concepts, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap up continue on hypothesis with this one and I think maybe one or two other videos, depending on how things go. But just let's just get right into it. If we, if we recall from last time, the cardinality of the set of natural numbers was a left knot. And as you can see here, as you know, just the left with a subscript of zero. Now here I've written two to raised to the left knot power. Now that is what denotes the cardinality of the real numbers. And we all, also, we have what's called like the left number hierarchy, which is basically like the cardinality of infinite sets. They sort of like keep building upon each other. Now, a, a, a left, a sub, a left, um, um, the first, a left subscript one is, uh, is greater than the left subscript zero. The cardinality is just, just defined. To be, to be, you know, higher than that, which therefore implies that a left one is oh, is um, greater than the set of natural numbers. And we remember last time, if the, if the cardinality of the set is greater than the set of natural numbers, then we know the set is uh, infinite, or also known as uncountably infinite. So, yeah, right here again. So it's infinite or uncountably infinite. Now, we, we it's important to it's important to know that. There's a difference because we remember last time we said we, we were trying to you know wrap our heads around the fact that there are sort of like greater infinities. Like how exactly do we you know rationalize that or you know come get an intuition for it? It's, it's you know rather uh, bizarre and vague. Uh, it's very abstract and sort of like uh, has like a pure more for pure mathematics. But nonetheless, it is interesting to point out because every single there's uh, the lefts keep building there's no like uh, final 11 just the left hierarchy so it's like again like a greater infinity now we're, we're, if, if x is the cardinality of a set 2 to that uh, at, to that you know whatever the cardinality is it's always going to be greater than this but the solution of that is also never it, it, you can always go higher you can always go higher so again it sort of continues now the reason why, the, you may be wondering why it's called the continuum hypothesis. Well, that's because that there's no, there's no proof or disproof. It's actually impossible because Kurt Gödel, I think is how you pronounce his name, um, came up with this you know, famous incompleteness theorem, which states that there may be some you know, true statements which are true but cannot, can never be proven to be true. And you know, the, what is known as zermelo frankel set theory, um, which is like the foundation for math, mathematical logic, and set the you know the, the the what really goes on behind the scenes uh, in set theory. So within the in the context of Zermelo Frankel, we really cannot um, prove or disprove the continuum hypothesis. So really, it's 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 vague, abstract, and I, it'll never really be resolved unless some like really novel mathematical uh, approach to you know the set theory is applied. But as of now, the continuum hypothesis you know, is unsolved. There's like no answer whether it is or is not. That's just why it's called a hypothesis. So again, the cardinality of the set of real numbers is two to the left knot. It's you know greater than the cardinality of natural numbers, which therefore makes it infinite or uncountable. And uh, whatever solution you get, because two to the left knot is greater than a left knot. It's just that just makes sense. We don't need to go too far in, into that. And and then two, whatever 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 you take. The cardinality of one set and raise it to that power, two to that power, like you know, it's here, the x is substituted for the left knot. Um, there's always going to be something that's greater than that, always. It just continues forever and ever. It's, it's, that's, that's why it is. Now, it's, I also, um, look, sometimes in a set, set theory, it may be tempting to say infinity, but infinity is like not really used. I mean, you technically can use it. Because it's you know familiar, but infinity is usually just used more in like numbers. Like it's it's more when you talk about number theory and things like that. I looked it up. It's like you, infinity is like the real number greater than all other real numbers, and it's also defined as the extreme limit of the number uh real number line, like the extreme limit. Um, but I'm not you know too familiar with all of that. But that's that's just why it's just infinity is not totally used. Uncountable is more I think preferred. Um, but that's really that's really all for this video. I mean, that's continuing hypothesis, you know, in a nutshell. I mean, I guess maybe one more video to sort of you know talk about more about um so, some uh, what I think they're called sigma algebras. It's it's basically when you like do algebraic operations with cardinality of sets. And I think that will be a good stopping point for a continuing hypothesis um part of the set theory videos. And after that, we will go into uh so, some other you know con oper set oper operations and um that that's all for this one i guess hope you guys enjoyed see you guys later